every quadratic equation in one variable has exactly two solutions or roots. So, quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero are called complete quadratic equation. Pero kapag hindi quadratic, hindi kompleto, ganito yung form. ax squared plus c equals zero. And you know what? This is an incomplete quadratic equation and can be solved using one property. And that property is what we call the square root property. Okay, the square root property states that if A, if A, which is ito, no? and C, and this one, are complex numbers, are complex numbers. And, and x squared, and if x squared, if x squared is equal to C, okay, then x would be square root of C, the positive 1, or yung isang root natin could be negative square root of C. Basically, itong C na to na nag-represent ng number ay kukunin lang natin ng square root niya para makuha natin ng dalawang roots. Pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative. Okay? So, there are two possible answers. So, let's try the first illustrative example. So, x squared equals 25. Okay? Dito, I think nakaform na siya as square root property. Okay? So, tingnan nyo kung mabuti, no? Kasi sa square root property, yung sabi, kapag ganito na daw yung form, x squared equals c, may dalawang sagot, no? Pwedeng, pwedeng ang sagot is positive square root of c, kukunin lang natin yung square root nito, or pwedeng ang sagot, negative square root of the constant. Okay? So, yan ang dalawang posibleng sagot. Okay? So, itong x squared equals c, Parang parehas siya dito sa x squared equals 25. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, identify na lang natin yung dalawang roots. So, the two possible roots using square root property. So, it could be could be positive or negative square root of the C. What is our C? 25. So, that is square root of 25. Okay. If we simplify square root of 25, copy muna natin itong dalawang posibleng sagot natin. Square root of 25, that is positive or negative 5. Okay? So, therefore, our two roots can be positive 5 or negative 5. So, may mga nagsasabi, Sir Ice, pwede ba namin paghiwalayin yan? Yes, pwedeng pwede. So, pwedeng ang sagot mo, x equals 5. Okay, kinuha mo lang yung positive side, no? Then yung isa, x equals negative 5. So, ito yung tinutukoy ko kanina. Ito yung negative 5. Ito yung positive 5. Okay? So, mabilis lang kunin yan kapag ganito yung form. Okay? Nakaform na siya na ganyan. x squared equals the constant. Okay? The next example that I will be showing with you is x squared minus 1 to 1 equals 0. So, practice natin yung skill natin. So, by the addition property of equality, no, mag add tayo ng 121 both sides because our goal is mawala itong negative or minus 121 sa left-hand side natin. So, kung ginawa natin dito sa left-hand side, syempre gagawin mo rin sa kabila to maintain the balance. Okay? So, there you go. Wait, ibahin natin ng kulay para ano. Ayan, gawin natin dilaw. Okay, nag-add tayo ng 121 plus 121 both sides to eliminate this one because negative 121 plus 121 is 0, right? So, that would left us what? x squared equals 121. Naalala nyo to? x squared equals 121. Di ba ito yun? x squared equals c. Ang c dyan is 121. Ang x squared, syempre, itong x squared. Okay, so anong gagawin? No? Dalawa yung possible na sagot. 
ang possible na sagot na tinagay. X could be positive or negative square root of 121. Okay? So, the two possible answer would be X is positive or negative square root of 121. That is a perfect number. And that is correct. That is 11. Okay? So, ang dalawang posibleng sagot ay positive 11 or negative 11. Okay, Sir Ice, pwede ba ulit isulat na ganito yan? X equals positive 11? Pwedeng pwede. Tapos, pwede ba yung isa? X equals negative 11? Of course, pwedeng pwede yan. Kaya nga, dalawa yung posibleng sagot dyan. Kaya may positive or negative 11. So, pwede mo silang paghiwalay yan. Depende sa trip mo. Okay? So, next. Uh, let's uh, let's practice our understanding, no? 2x squared minus 18 equals 0. Because practice makes progress. Tignan natin, no? Kung kaya pa natin itong isolve. So, of course, by addition property of equality, we have to eliminate this negative or minus 18 or negative 18. So, how do we do that? Of course, we will add 18 both sides. To maintain the equality, mag add ka rin dyan. Okay? So, like that, wait dyan. 2x squared, wala naman kasama yan or lang kamukha yan, bring it down. And negative 18 plus 18, we could, we could cancel them out because 0 ang sagot dyan. Then 0 plus 18 is 18. Okay? So, naalala nyo yung form? No? Ito yung form? Basta ang goal, maging x squared equals si yan. Kasi yan yung, pag ganyan na siya, magagamitin natin yung square root property dyan. Okay? So, sa tingin nyo ba, naka x squared equals c na yan? Ang c is 18. Eh, meron pa siyang katabing 2. Anong gagawin mo sa 2? Kailangan natin siyang matanggal. Okay? O kaya, i-divide natin siya both sides by 2. Okay? Kapag nagawa na natin yun, 2 divided by 2, we all know that is 1. Or cancel them out. That is x squared only. No? Equals 18 divided by 2 would give us 9. Okay? Oh, wow, naka x squared equals 9 na siya. O, ibig sabihin, ganito na yung form niya. Then, we could apply the square root property. Okay? So, dalawang posibleng sagot. X could be equal to positive or negative square root of 9. We all know that square root of 9 or 9 is a perfect square number. So, then, the two possible answer would be, tugtong natin dito, X equals positive or negative Square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so, dalawang posibleng sagot, pwedeng positive 3, pwedeng negative 3. Okay? Of course, di ba? Pwede na isulat na ganyan yan. Kung, kung ano nga gusto ninyo, no? Okay, so, our last example would be x plus 2 squared minus 16 equals 0. Okay, sir, ice parang medyo challenging to, no? So, ganito lang naman ang gagawin. Kung ano yung drill na ginagawa natin, negative 16, of course, tatanggalin lang natin muna yan. So, we will add 16 both sides by addition property of equality. Negative 16 plus 16, that is 0, which leaves us x plus 2 quantity squared. Equals 0 plus 16, that is positive 16. Okay, Sir Ice, bakit ganun, no? Pwede na ba namin i-apply ito? Yung x squared equals C. Itong property na ito na itinuturo mo ngayon. E bakit ganun? May x plus 2 no? sa, sa loob ng parenthesis at naka-squared siya. Can we do that? Of course, no? Pwede yan. As long as naka-loob naman siya, naka-group naman siya at naka-squared, pwede mo nang i-apply itong square root, square root property. Okay? So, for us to do that, pag in-apply na natin yan, may iwan na lang itong x plus 2 sa left-hand side. And that is equal to positive or negative square root of this C. Ito yung C, yung 16, di ba? That is 16. Then, if we simplify square root of 16, of course, copy ko lang muna to. Square root of 16, that is positive or negative 4. Okay? So, teka sir, ay, parang hindi pa natin nakahanap yung X. Of, dahil nga, di ba, mayroon pa siyang katabi na positive 2. For us to do that, no? Ganito lang yung gagawin mo. So, yung positive 2, i-eliminate natin yan sa left-hand side natin. Of course, kung nag 
kung nag-subtract tayo ng negative 2 dito to maintain the balance, gagawin mo rin yung sa kabila. Okay? So, dito ko nalalagay para hindi na kayo mahirapan. So, ito mga cancel na to, no? Positive 2 minus 2 is 0, which leaves us x only sa left hand side. Tapos, itong positive 4, my, eh, positive or negative 4, minus 2, alam nyo ba, pwedeng i-simplify pa yan. So, ganito, paghihiwalayin natin, uunahin ko muna itong positive. So, yung positive 4, sulat ko muna yun dito. Yan. Tapos, sulat ko na yung minus 2 dyan. Diba ito yun? Positive 4. By the way, bago tayo mag-proceed sa other x, no? Simplify na natin para mabilis. 4 minus 2, that is 2. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung isang x mo is equal to 2. Next, yung isang x mo naman, tapos na tayo sa positive. Ngayon, ito naman, itong negative naman. So, that is negative 4 minus 2. Okay? So, we all know that by subtracting 2 integers, na ganito yung sign, negative 4 minus 2, that would give us negative 6. And x is equal to negative 6. And also, x is equal to positive 2. Okay? So, dalawa yung sagot natin, negative 6 at positive 2. Okay? So, this concludes our session for today about the uh, extracting square root in solving quadratic equation. So, see you in our next quest.